from Fort Cosac 2022. Here we are, uh, three years after AWS's first reinforce, uh, the hallway con chats that inspired us to create this thing. And we're back in Boston as originally intended uh, for the day before the conference to really set up a week of talks. Uh, our big, big brother up the road here uh, is gonna give you a couple days of everything that's great about securing the, cl securing the cloud. We are not exactly here to do the opposite of that, but uh, generally to add context and color support and some skepticism to round out the week. For the first two years of this conference, I think the question was whether there's even a need for this thing, the independent cloud security practitioner community to exist. Uh, looking out over the crowd, uh, 175 people who got tickets uh, in the sellout crowd for a district hall, which is pretty cool. 500 people active monthly in the cloud security forum Slack. Uh, probably got a couple hundred folks on the live stream today. I think we've convincingly answered the question. Yes, this is something that should exist. Uh, there is a need for this community. So now that it's here, what do we do with it? Uh, yes, we're here to vent a bit. Um, the, I get it. The unofficial motto of this conference is we have a shared responsibility model, which means it's probably your fault. It's like actually written in Latin on our uh, speaker challenge coins. Venting and putting in pressure, uh, putting our pressure on the big cloud providers is something we can do, something we will do, but we can do more. Uh, obviously, we can, we do support the researchers in our midst in the hopes that we enable someone's miracle year. A miracle year, for those of you who don't follow Twitter or Hacker News drama, and by all means, keep not doing that. Uh, a miracle year was a concept popularized a few months ago by Dorakesh Patel, retweeted by Jeff Bezos, about the glories of young, solo, usually male, uh, scientific high achievers who accomplish something amazing in isolation. Uh, the blog post drew a strong response. And I actually tend to be a bit more aligned with the response essay, which says that's nice and all, uh, but it's actually groups of people working together who do the hard work of exploring the edges of problems and working through them that actually make progress. So Forward CloudSec exists. It's a big group of talented people. Are we making progress? Well, we haven't made cloud security simple yet. And if this is not the group of people doing it, I don't know who will. Uh, S3 bucket exposures, thankfully, less common than they used to be, but we still see plenty of misconfigurations that lead to mass exposures or losses of data. So what are we doing? What's standing in our way? The obvious headwind is that there are not that many of us. And I recognize the irony of saying that when we have 175 people here and 4,000 up the road, but we know that security teams are small relative to engineering. Uh, stats on this surprisingly hard to come by, even when you put 10 CISOs in a room, they will disagree. Uh, probably don't apply to your company specifically, but rarely do you see a security team that's more than 10% of engineering, usually closer to 2%. Cloud security is a tiny part of that. So uh, if we were to ask around in this room, this high powered room filled with senior security engineers from the most cloud forward companies, companies that do the investment, uh, you'll rarely hear of a team of more than a handful of people who do what we do. So uh, I will ask that question in the first audience participation moment. Uh, who here works on a cloud security team of more than 10 people? AWS people can keep their hands down. Um, so we've got three, four hands, so that's good. Um, and there, I'm sure there are some consultants and product security folks as well. So anyway, uh, Four, right? It's a room of about 100, despite the claim that AWS has 400,000 certifications issued. It's a staff that's like a year old. Um, you know, we're small, we're small. We have to have a bigger impact. And the headcount complaint, uh, I've been a manager long enough to know that like we don't have enough headcount is actually not a useful argument to start with. So what are the headwinds internal to our profession? There are a lot of people who wanna be thought leaders, uh, opining on concepts without doing the work and Yes, I'm doing a little bit of that here, forgive me. I get six minutes to do this. I will take only that long. Um, on the other hand, uh, sometimes we're afraid to speak up for fear that uh, no one cares or everyone already knows what we're gonna say. Uh, surprisingly common in this community, even this advanced group of people, uh, is the theme of discussions at our speaker dinner last night. Uh, so that's imposter syndrome from like people I look up to, right? Uh, so let's start by agreeing we will put those aside today. No thought leadering, no imposter syndrome. Uh, the headwind that most worries me when you bring this group of people together is whether we are too insular. So when researchers only talk to researchers, when threat intel people only th talk to threat intel people, when we don't get feedback from others who are not the people in this room, I know we won't be as effective. So to be successful, we have to bridge the gap between what we do and what our colleagues who don't work in cloud security do. 
So of course I come to Forward CloudSec to learn about the research we've completed, the solutions we've built, but I also love learning about the unique needs of different user bases and helping make our hard-won research more approachable and useful to them. Uh, the cloud security practitioners, those here in this room, in the hallway, on the stream, we all have different partners, whether they're partners in IT, engineering, clients, other teams. So if you see me in the halls today, that's what I want to talk about, how our customers differ, what makes them unique, how we enable them to be secure. Before we kick off, I'll share my favorite tool for keeping your ears open when working with others, especially if you have disagreements about what to do next. The people who work for me in this room are already smiling. This framework is not mine. It comes from a blog post by Roy Rappaport of Netflix. It's called The Five Conditions for Improvement. It says that solving hard problems requires you to create agreement on five different things in order. First, agreement on what the problem is. Is the problem technical, that our tools for ABAC are too limited? Or is the problem procedural? We don't have a shared understanding of roles and who needs what access. Second, agreement on whose problem it is to solve. Our engineering partners may come to the table with an expectation that we're going to save them from thinking about security at all. But our belief is that our role is to provide them the skills and visibility to make good decisions on their own. There's nothing wrong with that. It is natural for expectations to be, dis to be different. And so if we don't lean into that conversation, whose problem it is, we'll build the wrong thing. Once we agree on whose problem it is, third is agreement on why the problem needs to be solved now. For example, do we need to build a fully secure environment if we're still at proof of concept stage? Common problem. Uh, fourth, how we build plans to solve things together uh, with our colleagues, roadmaps of what we can do this quarter, build on next quarter, expand next year. Uh, and finally, once we've built a plan, how we execute together. So once the plan is written down, we still have to stay close. We still have to run experiments together. We still have to learn from experiments. We still have to pivot when we learn something new. And our preferences may differ. So building those five agreements in order helps create the conditions that make the progress we all want to see. Got a lot to talk about here. Looking forward to it. Should be fun. What else do we need? Supporting us this year, once again, is an outstanding sponsor community. This is year three of Forward CloudSec. We have yet to have a simple conference. 2022 was COVID at the last minute. Uh, 2021, the Delta variant and the move to Salt Lake City and AWS canceled their conference. Uh, to, uh, this year, we had a last minute move from Boston to, or Houston rather, to Boston, where we are now. Uh, and once again, our sponsors came through. It's not easy to do that at the last minute. I know they bring a lot to the community by being here. So, as ever, thanks to our gold sponsors, Rapid7, Datadog, Lightspin, and WithSecure, our silver sponsors, Orca, ClearVector, Wiz, Steampipe, and Uptix, and our bronze sponsors, Stacklet, Panther, OpenRaven, Cato, I am Pulse, and Jupiter One. Their support means a lot to us, so please say hello to them in the lounge and support them in return. Thanks also to our speakers and to our volunteers. Uh, getting 175 people to join a happy hour would be fun, but it is the talks that give us the structure that spark the deeper dive conversations and let's be honest, convince our bosses to uh, fund us to be here. So thanks to everyone who submitted, uh, those who are joining us in person today or those who are virtually joining us virtually to share their knowledge, conference wouldn't exist without you. Uh, a special thanks to our alternates, uh, Kat, Jen, Rodrigo, Ian, uh, spent some time preparing backup content in case people dropped out, something that organizers expect and uh, uh, especially need to prepare for in the age of COVID. Uh, and this year, instead of a speaker swag, we asked our speakers to pick some charities to donate to. So with their support, uh, with the support of our sponsors and an anonymous donor, we're donating $7,500 to four charities this year. Uh, WISP, Women in Information Security and Privacy, the Rural Tech Fund, Black Girls in Cyber, and Secure the Village. Uh, these are all uh, four groups we're really proud to help as they build and grow. The future cloud security practitioners we'll see on this stage in years to come. And of course, thanks to you. Uh, so please participate, small conference, Goal is to have good hallway con. There's not much point in doing this otherwise. We have the whole district hall space. This room for talks, that room, room one for talks as well. Overflow streaming in there, vendors out there. Use it all, sessions, lounge, pod rooms. Uh, at the end of the day, join us. We're gonna turn off the cameras and have three different birds of a feather sessions. Uh, these are formal sessions led by folks in the community to like kick off with a specific topic then share Chatham House Rules discussions to talk openly about what we're experiencing uh, and how to work together better. These were super fun part uh, at the end of last year's conference. So uh, hope you'll stick around and join them uh, before heading off to, to drinks or whatever you want to do at the end of the day. 
Uh, while you're here or participating vir virtually, uh, please do read and follow Code of Conduct, which includes our mask policy. Uh, if you are not on stage, masks on, please. Uh, if you have conduct-related issues, my organizers uh, will be walking around. We have this lovely uh, embroidered t-shirt this year. If you don't feel comfortable uh, talking to us or reporting something in person, uh, send a confidential note to conduct at forwardcloudsec.org directly. Uh, and for folks on streaming, uh, once again, I will say the Cloud Security Forum Slack is live. It is where we will be asking questions. Uh, MCs for each talk will be looking in Slack for questions. Uh, so please join, share your, uh, share your thoughts, share your responses. Uh, if you are not on our Slack yet, join us. I have an invite code for you. That invite code is right here. It is the QR code and link on the left, uh, which will get you into the Slack if you're not already there. Uh, QR code and link on the right is the feedback form. Uh, so we can make this event even better next year. Both of those are also, I think, going to be on forwardcloudsec.org. So take photos now, but you know, we'll get you there. So anyway, that's it. Let's do this. Uh, get out there. Introduce yourself to someone you don't know. Scope and understand interesting problems. Figure out who you're going to work with. Make a plan. Execute it. So that's enough thought leadering for the day. Let's get practical. Uh, first talks start in nine minutes right here in room one next door, uh, live on YouTube. We're going to take that time to uh, reset the stream, and I will see you there. Have a great day.